What's going on everybody? My name is Chandler Lyles and today we're cooking flank steak fajitas. Say that three times fast. Let's get into it. So my wife is a massive fan of Mexican restaurants and her all-time favorite dish at any American Mexican restaurant is a fajita dish. Chicken fajitas, steak fajitas, never really shrimp fajitas, but any kind of fajita she's all in on and she's always trying to get me to share food with her. Now sometimes I do it, but for the most part, 98% of the time I just don't. And there's two reasons why. One, hate sharing food. I'm like Joey from Friends, just not into it. Second reason is, I'm not a big fan of Mexican food in America. I think the generic Mexican restaurant in America is just not that great. So the second reason is, is that most of the time I get fajitas, it's overcooked and dry. It's a really cheap cut of steak and that's why they cost $12. It's just not good and yeah, maybe I'm being a little bit meh about it, but like, it could be so much better. So that's what we're doing today. We're making it better. So, first thing we're gonna do, marinate our flank steak. Now, this marinade is super simple. It's only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten ingredients. Maybe it's not that simple, but all these flavors coming together overnight with our flank steak, it's gonna be worth the effort. So I got a gallon size Ziploc bag here. Uh, also, you can vacuum pack this. I just don't have a vacuum packer right now. So gallon size bag is what we're gonna have to make it work with. But basically, we're just gonna take all these ingredients and put them into the bag. I'm really gonna catch hell for that, uh, that Mexican restaurant hot take. Got all those ingredients in. We're gonna prep our garlic and our limes. Super fancy lime juice squeezer. Cool thing about fajitas is that you can put whatever vegetables you want with it. We've got some bell peppers tonight, and we've got a yellow onion, and that's pretty much it. We're gonna do some cheese, sour cream. Gonna make some homemade guacamole, some homemade salsa. Got some uh, tortillas as well. I love the speed and simplicity of a fajita made at home. Now, I do love a margarita at a Mexican restaurant. Frozen margarita, strawberry. It's my love language right there. So we got the juice of two limes. Then we're gonna dice, finally, uh, four cloves of garlic. I'm a big fan of these J.A. Henkel knives. You know what that means? It's time for another shameless plug. You need some knives. You can get these for about 150 bucks in that Amazon affiliate link below. You can dice this garlic up as fine or as coarse as you want. I just love the flavor of garlic, so. And then I'm gonna do one extra step here. I am gonna take my knife and just sort of press on this garlic to really get those juices going. Really get that garlicky flavor. Now, before we open up our flank steak here, we wanna take our Ziploc baggie and just sort of like really, I feel like a mobster shaking somebody down for some money. Where's my money? Sorry, y'all, I'm a dad. The dad jokes are gonna happen. You're just gonna to have to deal with it. Honestly, you could have put this all in a bowl and whisked it up and gotten the same exact effect. I just am doing dishes tonight, so I'm trying to keep them a little low. All right. So we 
got that guy ready to go. I'll fold my bag over to try to prevent cross contamination here. Now this flank steak is about a pound and a half, but you know, just add a little extra olive oil in. Roll this guy back over. Now I'm gonna simulate the, uh, the vacuum packing here. Get as much air out of this thing as I can. And then we just wanna move our flank steak around. That's it, in the bag. Now I'm gonna throw this thing in the fridge. Uh, at least six hours on this, you know, and you're in a hurry, hurry, you could do like three hours on this guy. My preference is up to 24 hours though. So we're gonna put this in the fridge until tomorrow night, and then we're gonna throw it on our big green egg, and I'm gonna show you guys how to grill this flank steak right up. Bam, there it is. It's been about 24 hours now. This steak is ready to roll. We have already got our guacamole prepped. We've already prepped our salsa, homemade from scratch. That's in the description link down below as well. The only thing we have left to do is our flank steak, and then we're gonna do some peppers and onions, but I'm not gonna put that in this video. You know how to make fajitas, vegetable plot. So, let's get this out. I got the green egg rolling between 500 and 600 degrees. I'll see you out there. <laughs> My sous chef is back. All right, so we got our grill running between five and 600 degrees. Now we're just gonna throw this flank steak on here. Let me transparent with you guys. I'm still a little new to the green egg. I'm not 100% sure how long this is gonna take each side, but I'm gonna put it right in the middle and then we're gonna go from there and see what happens. Wow. All right, that guy's rolling. We're gonna let it run and then come back out in a minute. All right, been about four minutes. Open her up, looking great. We're gonna flip it, do another four. Right, we're gonna crank our heat up a little bit more. We got four more minutes, and then I think we'll be pretty close to medium rare. Silly girl. <laughs> it's a good girl. All right, been about four minutes here. We're gonna open it up and take a temperature. I can just tell it's still a little under. But we're gonna go ahead and get a thermo read just to make sure. About 105 internal temperature. So we're gonna put this back on the same side. Cause I got a nice char on that one side. I need a little more char on the other side. Uh, if we're running about 105, I'm thinking, thinking another four minutes and then we'll check it. Watch out where I'm going, Daddy. All right, about four more minutes there. Let's see what our temperature is. About 120, I wanna get it to about 130. And then I'm gonna let it rest. I'm gonna let it rest for a couple minutes at 130, so it comes up to 135. Uh, we're about 10 degrees off right now. I'm gonna go, and this is where that touchy <laughs> game goes. The green egg does a really good job of not... Do you want to say hi? <laughs> the green egg does a really good job of regulating temperature. I'm not really worried about it spiking up or low. This thing's great. All 
All right, that's time. We should be good to go. Man, that smell. This thing looks awesome. Shut this guy down. We're ready to go eat. All right, that is it. We've been busy back here cooking. We got everything finished up. We got the rice, the refried beans, our homemade salsa, our homemade guacamole. Those videos are linked in the description below. Last thing we gotta do here, perfect medium rare flank steak, no more dry restaurant fajitas. So good, so soft, so tender, melts in your mouth, amazing. Appreciate you guys watching this video. If you wanna watch another one, click right here and go ahead and check out the next one. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please take a second and hit the subscription button. Appreciate you watching, peace.